Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, a.k.a. Awotero, and I'm here to give you guys your weekly reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's coming towards you guys this week. What are the overall messages and possible outcomes? But before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell so I can connect with you all energetically. And this helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you're meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot, guys. Please reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, if this reading resonates for you and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The information is in the description box below. Alrighty, as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's see what is the overall energy for Aquarius Universe, Archangel Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What is going on with Aquarius this upcoming week? A lot of communication, a lot of fast moving forward, a lot of fast energy. Knight of Wands, damn. So someone's really trying to get a hold of you here. Someone's trying to come towards you passionately. You know what? It's going to feel like this person has something up their sleeves with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. They may seem a little bit reckless, but this person has something that they have to tell you, something that they have to communicate, wanting to clear the air with you with the, with the moon. Very unexpected energy. Very unexpected energy. Someone is trying to clear their name and I feel that this person has been portrayed or viewed or made to look like a very toxic individual. Um, this person, somebody told you that this person may have cheated on you. Um, somebody brought you some form of information from this in the, regarding this individual and it, it was a reckless communication. And this person is rushing in because they have to clear the air. They've been accused of being in a third party situation. They've been accused of dealing with somebody from their past, maybe a baby mama. But there's an energy here of this person stepping out on you and it's causing a lot of friction. It's causing a lot of pain. Um, I feel that the connection, um, it hasn't come to a complete end just yet. You're waiting for this individual to, to make, um, do something, uh, speak something, bring a truth to the table or something within that range. Hmm. With the judgment here, someone's bringing in truth and clarity, but at the same time, someone is turning their back to a situation. So, <clears throat> whoever is communicating to you here, Aquarius, telling you that this person cheated on you, they're trying to push you to turn your back to this situation. There's some type of jealousy here. Someone's trying to cause you some harm. Someone's trying to cause you some pain. Um, I am getting gossip. Someone is trying to come towards you and cause you to end this situation with the world but there's something that's still pending i feel that it's your person your ex or soon to be ex that wants to clear their air but you got people around you causing friction someone wants to see you in separation from this person they love to see you stuck in situations they love to see you go through shit so you have some energies around you who are very deceptive who are causing ruckus who are causing problems and you're being told to be careful with that I feel that you know who this is. Whoever brought you the gossip regarding your ex, um, I would think twice what this person is saying. I would really take their words um, lightly and try to do your own investigation. Your person is being portrayed as a cheating individual dealing with the Queen of Wands, being toxic. They're saying that they've seen this person go out, drink, party, do drugs, whatever. They're just putting this person in such a bad energy. And there's someone here that's trying to end your connection, trying to see you in separation. A lot of jealousy. But your person's coming back towards you very fast, wanting to communicate something. Five of Wands, not wanting to fight, wanting to resolve this, wanting to clear their name, wanting to bring a resolution to this problem. I just heard they're going to ask you to confront the individual that came at you with the gossip, with the lies. There's going to be a confrontation here between you and somebody who is trying to get you to leave your connection out in the cold, you may end up uh, ultimately deciding to leave that friend out in the cold because they're causing you a lot of confusion, okay? Whoever it is that you're talking to, I'm getting a lot of energies here. So this may be a particular friend or group 
these people are very um, manipulating. I just heard um, miserable people. And you know how that saying goes, misery loves company. So you're dealing with people here who um, just want to see you go through something or want you to end the connection. They, they're not happy for you. They just want to see you cry. I don't know what it is, but someone wants to see you go straight into troubled waters. They want to see you grief. They want to see you um, hurt. They want to see you cry. You're being told to start cutting out people in your life. Okay, you know how your relationship is. You know your individual. You know your person. You may even be married to this person. You trust this person, but you got people around you that are trying to get you to be this page of pentacles in the reverse, trying to get you to no longer offer your energy to your person, no longer offer anything to your connection. Somebody here is trying to sabotage your connection. You got the six of cups here. So this is a soulmate energy. You and your person have known each other for a very long time. I feel that you guys even grew up together, went to school together. You guys have been in a connection for a very long time. May even have children or pets. But you got people, two particular people blocking your guys' happiness. This can very well be um, a friend of yours. Look at being deceptive, lying. Th this can be people that, that are causing this beautiful soulmate energy, soulmate connection to be blocked by telling you that there's lies, there's deception, there's cheating, there's betrayal, there's, there's stealing. You got two people here causing some blockages and you very well know who this is, Aquarius. It's time for you to move away from those negative people, Wheel of Fortune. It's time for you to get your peace of mind, your peace, your harmony, your balance. It's time for you to cut out people that do not serve a purpose in your life and move away from this energy. King of Pentacles, I feel that you're married to this individual that you're, that you're currently having conflict with. Your person is rushing in because they're desperate to get you to, get you to hear them out. You may have even blocked your person because of these people. So your person is going to find their way how to get back towards you. It's going to feel reckless. It's going to feel desperate. But it's because they need to speak a truth. They don't want you to believe what these people are saying. It's not that they're hiding anything. It's that they're sick and tired of people always putting shit in your head. They want you to realize that you have a lot of deceptive energy around you. You have a group of friends that are very deceptive. Miserable individuals. Three of wands. Your person is hoping and praying that you see the truth of this situation already. And you move away from these energies. They hope and they pray that you you look at these people that are very deceptive, um, angry, sorrow, miserable individuals. They don't wish the best for you. They don't wish happiness for you. They don't wish stability for you. They wish to see you cry and be alone, not have this true love in your life, not have this abundant relationship. Yes, your ex or your person might have stepped out on you in the past. Okay, we all make mistakes. I don't condone it, but at the end of the day... We can get past shit like that. There's one thing that you cannot get past is death. Everything else can be resolved. And I feel that people are still feeding on your person's past actions. And your person's been trying to do everything right by you and the family and the kids. Your person is hoping that you see these people's true intentions. They hope that you move away from that energy. What else, universe? Hermit. Your person doesn't want to be left alone. They don't want to be without you. They're hoping that you listen to them and you don't make the wrong decision. They see you as a wish fulfillment. This person isn't stepping out on you with the King of Wands. They're passionate for you. They want to continue growing with you. And this person is coming towards you because they want to speak a truth and they want to clear their name. There are some people around you that are causing some deception. They're hoping and praying that your connection comes to an end. They're bringing in burdens. But you need to listen to your person first. You need to have this conversation with your person first. I feel that your person may have been a deceptive individual in the past, but this time around, they're not coming at you this way. They really didn't do anything. What's going on is that there's rumors in the air and they're just causing you conflict. So your person wants to clear their name and they hope and pray that you see that you have deceptive people around you. Okay? All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button if you want to book a personal. The info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.